Hello, wonderful person. This is Anton, and well, it's August 21st, 2017, and you may have seen the total solar eclipse, or you may have missed it. Well, if you missed it, don't fret, don't be afraid, because NASA has created yet another amazing simulation for us to basically see what we have missed and what we may have experienced. Today I'm going to show you the simulation, and we're going to find out a little bit more about the eclipse of 2017. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. Now, unfortunately, this is, of course, not the simulation I'm going to uh, to be showing you. This is a space engine simulation, which doesn't really have the uh, perfect representation of solar eclipses, but it does look very beautiful. What I'm going to show you is this. It doesn't look as impressive, it doesn't look as amazing, but it's actually really, really cool and very, very interactive. And this actually does teach you a little bit more about solar eclipses and at the same time shows you... Uh, some things that you may have not know about them. First of all, this right here is a good warning. Don't look directly at the sun, even for a second. Uh, if you don't have proper um, solar filters, you can quite easily go blind. So if you're watching solar eclipse, even if it's in the future, avoid looking directly at the sun. So we're going to in uh, actually interact with this, and uh, the link for this app is in the description below. And this is made by uh, JPL and NASA, basically representing the eclipse of 2017. So here's the cool part about it. I can basically choose one of the best places to see the eclipse, and then just run the simulation, and it kind of shows you pretty much in real time what you're going to see, or you actually have seen, that is. Because I'm technically making this video in the past, so the eclipse hasn't happened yet. But this is what people have seen on August um, 21st, and for me, as you can see, it's August 22nd, because I am in Asia, and basically the total eclipse happens around this time, and you, this is what you would actually be seeing, and if you were to actually look at Earth itself, uh, there is that shadow that passes across the uh, central United States as the moon eclipses the sun, so it's actually it's a pretty amazing sight, and it's a pretty amazing um, view if you actually are there to see it. And the cool thing about this simulation is that it kind of also gives you an idea uh, what other parts of the North America might actually see at least a partial eclipse. And so the 100% of total eclipse is only on this line right here, including Kansas City. And then places like uh, Vancouver, for example, will experience a partial eclipse and places like LA and New York will experience uh, penumbra. Basically, this is the site that you'll see in those cities, you'll basically see a little bit of a darkening effect by about 50% of total solar luminosity, and then it will kind of move away and uh, disappear completely. Now, here's the important part, going back to that warning from NASA, if you are anywhere in these locations, or these locations, in other words, if you're not on the path of total eclipse, you really should not be looking at the sun at all. Even with some of the solar filters, it's still quite dangerous to actually stare at the sun because solar radiation is so good at basically blinding people. And there's actually quite a lot of studies that show that even looking at the sun for a few seconds can have permanent damage effects um, on your eyesight. So try not to look at it. Maybe use a mirror or something instead that has uh, some sort of filter or some, some kind of a paint on it. Or better, even just use a camera, take a picture. Anyway, so let's uh, look at some of the simulations here. So we can actually look at this from Earth, obviously, which is what we just did, and play this in uh, accelerated time, basically several minutes per second, and it shows you how Moon and the Sun will perform here. But you can also actually look at other perspectives. Like, for example, this is what it would look like from the Moon, which is actually something that you may have not seen before, especially if you haven't used the simulation. So this is what the Moon will see, or <laughs> this is what you would see if you're like a rover on the moon or if we had a colony on the moon, it would basically see uh, this very interesting shadow moving across the planet and uh, essentially it would kind of make the Earth look slightly different in color, uh, at least some parts of Earth, but obviously not all parts of Earth. So th this is the view from the moon and you can also actually even see how all of this relates to the triplet of Earth, Moon, and the Sun. So, as the eclipse occurs, kind of gives you an idea that 
there is earth spinning and there is the moon passing in front of earth and basically the shadow covers uh, our planet for just a fraction of the time and so from this perspective you can kind of see how there is that shadow that forms um, from the moon basically covering the sun and this shadow will slowly approach um, earth and will then cover the North American continent for, for those few minutes. And there you go. So that's the view from outer space. And you also get to see the view uh, from Earth Moon uh, duo here. And this is kind of gives you another perspective, slightly more uh, to scale perspective of how the eclipse will look. Especially if you look at it from, uh, from like satellites that orbit outside of our uh, moon sun system. So it kind of shows you how the moon orbits around uh, Earth and how its shadow is formed. And basically, right around this point, it's going to eclipse Earth completely. Now, and this perspective also kind of gives you an idea of why we don't get eclipses every single month. So, for example, um, if I were to go back in time here, you would see that there is no eclipse here. And that's because... Okay, it's not actually working. Uh, it's because if you were to look uh, from this angle, you would see that moon actually has a bit of an inclination in regards to its orbit around earth so uh, sometimes moon actually ends up here right below the plane of um, plane of orbit and sometimes it ends up right here uh, above it now this variation is very very little it's only like a few degrees but it's enough for the shadow of the moon to actually completely miss earth sometimes so this month right here, in August of 2017, it hits it right in the middle. But next month, in September, when it comes back to the same spot, it's actually going to miss it completely and it's going to be above Earth. So um, that's really why we actually don't get eclipses every single month. And the simulation is pretty good at helping you visualize this. And so overall, that's actually all I wanted to talk about in this video. I kind of wanted to just introduce this app that NASA has made using NASA's eyes. And this is all uh, based on a browser app. So you can actually, uh, you don't even need to download anything. You can just open this in your browser from the link in the description below. And we're going to finish this video by watching the totality of solar eclipse from virtual Kansas City and Kansas. Something that I will definitely not see and have not seen because I wasn't there. I was right here in Korea. And something that some of you may have seen, especially if you had a powerful enough telescope with really strong protection. But chances are most people will not see this. They might see something a little bit more simple, something that might look uh, a little bit less exciting, actually. Something that might not be as beautiful as this. Anyway, check out this app, or check out this website, that is. And thank you for watching. Subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.